My name is Amudo. All the way from Atlanta Theater at this village. Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review, the only channel that the subscribers cry when I upload. Cry out of joy. The subscriber, they, they cry. You are crying at the moment. So if you are new here, please do me a favor, subscribe. Please also turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when I post. Like this video. That, actually, like pause. Pause. Pause right now. Now look down. I'm actually not looking at anything, but like you will see like a like button. They just don't like the video. Okay, roll intro. <laughs> Normally after my intro rolls, what I do next is say something that is very smart about the show. So the new subscribers will be like, wow, this guy, this guy is smart. But the old subscribers know that I would end it with a joke. But today will be different. I'm not going to do that today. Skinny Girl in Transit's new episode just showed the viewers that the show is way more than what Tiwa and Shalewa does. It showed us that they have characters that they can talk about. And we will still be highly invested in the show, no matter what. A perfect example of what I just said is, you know when a girl walks past you and you look at her and you go like, mm. That baby is not that fine, <laughs> but her ass do. <laughs> her ass do. One character that they keep talking about, but we don't pay so much notice to is Wosi. On one end, you look at Wosi, you already have this feeling that she's not that smart. Then when you get to know her more, you understand that she's actually a wonder. She's not that smart. She, she's also not that smart. In the last episode, we found out that Wosi failed her jam. And you know how African parents don't like when their kids fail? And the tool they use for their kids every time they fail is whatever they see around them or whatever anyone around them can actually pass in three seconds. Mommy, I did read though. I did read though. I swear I did read though. But the time just the jam all of us. Shalua and Mohamed in this episode, I, I, oh my god, oh, I, I've not even started. I actually, oh my god. Tear her lips. Find a room. Eh? So Mohamed is going to Kano and Shalua doesn't like how she feels about it. And what is upsetting to her is that he wants to carry more than one box for a three days trip. And if I'm not wrong, if, if we check the air she's breathing. <laughs> huh. He's cheating, Shalua. I don't, I don't know what to even tell you. He's cheating. He's a hardcore cheat. I've seen him cheat before. I have the clip on my phone. And I'm going to send it to you once I get your number. <laughs> DM me at, at Prince underscore OL. Midi and Tiwa, on the other hand, started the episode with Midi cooking for... You see? The cooking... Yep. Why not? Why is he not cooking? Yeah, of course. Of course. He's perfect. He should be cooking for her. Like the, it's like they, they, they made Midi... <laughs> Out of like taking out like ev every Instagram thread that a woman has written about how men should act, and they just created a prototype. That, that is who Midi is. Like every woman's dream in one man. Settle for less, ladies. Everybody just say you should. See, so you will find him. Settle for. Why do I sound like I'm crying? <laughs> settle for less. I just imagine the comment section now blowing up just because I said settle for less. And a lot of people are like, oh no, I'm never gonna settle for less. I'm gonna settle for less. She tasted his food and said it needs more salt. He got offended and left the relationship. Y yes, that would have been a better story, I know. But surprisingly, this episode was not about the prince and queen of Skinny Girl in Transit, but it was about someone that the show doesn't talk much about because the viewers didn't care about her. And that is Derry. Mire being the perfect brother, he went out of his way to do some digging and he found out that his friend, Chris, you know what guys, let me, let me just play this section for you. He is standing beside a woman he's getting married to. I said it! I said it! He's in you again! And you did not listen. You... I was trying to grime you again like... You, not, you again did not listen. 
It doesn't make sense. But you guys know, listen, I said it like 20 times. We didn't miss her to break the news that Chris is now in you again. He showed her the pictures of what is apparently his pre-wedding photos. And then he hits me with the scariest case of denial that I have ever seen in my life. I had somebody dig. I can see and it. And they no, told me. Wait, that hold on a second. Like, just because we haven't spoken does not mean we don't have a relationship. Like, this is just a picture with a woman. It doesn't mean anything. She's literally the type of person that would catch her man cheating and be like, oh, you guys <laughs> are on top of each other. Obviously, doing something sexual. <laughs> are you guys playing Sims? <laughs> No one invited me. This scene was so strong, showing some top class acting, but that background song just killed it for me. I don't know why. Dear, listen, I have nothing against Chris. You are my concern, but I'm looking out for you. The fact that Chris is now with someone else starts sinking in and she tries to call him and he did not pick because he's in you again. I don't need to repeat this. I've been saying I've been shouting it since like the trailer if you did. I mean, if you guys don't know by this point, I don't know what you're doing on this channel, but I don't know what action I'm using, but I like it. I'm gonna finish the whole review with this action. Then he starts drinking just to ease her pain like a guy. And when drinking did not work, she did what everyone would do when they are drunk and had broken. Fight a girl! <laughs> Need help. But that was what she did. She fought Didi, not physically, but verbally. And one thing I believe in is picking your battles. As I am now, I won't in my life ever fight Didi verbally in, in any way. How insults work is start slow, then increases. Okay, first, there's a normal agreement saying I will go first. So I start, Didi. I will start with, you are my, oh, I already lost. Because Didi is going to run laps with her mouth. Where's that girl you won't stop talking about? I like this episode because I feel the show writers finally found out that they needed more character development and converting a character hated by all and even me into someone we can pity is just wonderful. It's just sad that after getting to love her, she decides to leave and apparently I feel she has left the show for good. My expectations from this particular episode is we need more Shaliwa action guys. Left to me. I will remove everyone. You are gone. You are gone. You can stay. <laughs> you surely... <laughs> you can stay. And that's it. And that will be a show I would like. Only Shalom and this, this person. And this person is not even in skinny girl in trance. Tell me your expectations down below, guys. No matter how useless it sounds. But wait with it, guys. What did Didi say here? Yeah, that's petty. I beg. Don't petty me. I'm really? Really? Thank you guys for watching. I am literally sweating. Lagos is hot. Like, let me just gist you guys if you are not in Lagos. Lagos is hot as hell. I've been able to embrace my own heat. Like, now I'm one with my, with my body fluids. That doesn't sound even remotely attractive in any way. But, like, like it's, oh my god, it's, oh my, it's bad. I am sweating my... No, oh my god. But, guys, on the night, it was my birthday, and she said, it's a birthday. <laughs> and thank you very... Every, thank, you, thank you to everyone that showed love on my birthday video. It means a lot. Um, I, I liked making it because, like, I don't know, I literally just spoke out of the top of my head. I had, like... Sorry, I had like keynotes, but like I, I spoke out of the top of my head. And thank you guys for like liking the video, supporting the video. The video did well to me, it did well, like because, like, I don't know, it wasn't like a movie review, but it did well. And that's like my biggest fear when like all the shows leave, like, where are you people going to go to? Are you guys still going to be here? But apparently, a lot of people are still here, so thank you very much for watching that video. It, it, it meant a lot to everybody that like sent in videos. Thank you very much. If you're not sending a video, there's no problem. I, I don't hate you. I don't, I don't hate you. 
I won't hit you till next time when I'm doing the same thing and I don't add your video even if you said. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you did not like. I'm I'm here open for criticism, criticism, criticism. Apparently, a lot of people like this part, and I'm confused. I'm confused why you guys like it. But question of the day, I literally don't have like I don't know what to. I don't I don't know I don't know what to. Okay, what's your What's your favorite drink? What what drink can't you do without? For me, I said taking like there's this Chapman they sell in Lagos, and I like it. No, I don't take it every time because like I drink like minerals like maybe twice a a, a month. I'm being sure that I actually I just drink a lot of water. I don't drink like minerals either. Like so um, tell tell me what is your favorite drink? For me, is Chapman. I've forgotten the name. That's how bad I am with all these things. So tell me down in the comment section what your favorite drink. I, I, I will try and like make it more like interesting with like the questions for the people who care enough to reach this part. Okay, I hope you liked the video. How are you doing? I hope you're fine. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I'm able to edit, edit this thing on Monday. Okay, bye.